you doing? My name is Benjamin Daniel. Welcome to my channel. I want to greet you all this day. I want to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel, who has rated and uh, commented and liked my videos over there, my, my previous whole video. So I kind of like thinking that I need to get back into some fragrance reviews and also bring in my gaming review. So I'm done with my whole videos for right now. I, I think pro probably for a long time. So I hope, yeah, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching this whole video. So I got another fragrance review over here this day. This is going to be a very interesting take over here. I only got one fragrance from this design house. I saw this online and there was only one bottle remaining and I decided to pick it up but the deal was really great. So this day I present to you Vince Kamuto Home. That's the name of the fragrance, Vince Kamuto Home. It doesn't have a cap because it was a tester version. It's a little bit blue if you can check it out online. You can check it out. So here's a quick overview. It's beautiful, like leather stitched to the bottle. This is a 100 mil over here. And that's the emblem of Vince Camuto all around over here. And that's, you can see just a little bit of the juice over there. I mean, I haven't used it all up. That, that's just the, pl the part that's visible right now. It's all covered up. So this is a very unique design over here. I like this very much. And then it's got the, uh, the cap over there. So there you go, Vince Camuto home. So what's, what's the deal with this guy over here, Vince Camuto? <laughs> all right, apparently on Fragrantica, there are a brand new fragrance company that started in 2011. Wow, that's really interesting. And they got a whole bunch of fragrances. They're, um, they got a great lineup. There's not much history about them. And I don't know if Vince Camuto is another industry like fashion or jewelry or whatever, but this is what they have. They got a couple of fragrances and they started in 2011. And Vince Camuto Home was released in 2014. It is classified as a woody, spicy, aromatic fragrance. Oh, I just like the look of this bottle. Beautiful emblem right there. Okay, so let's get into top notes. The top notes are ozonic notes, citrus. It's got gin, very interesting, and it's got lemon. The, the mid notes are lavender, juniper berries, nice, and fennel and cypress. Okay, the base is birch, musk, cedar, and artemisia. All right, I don't know really what artemisia is, but the rest I do know. Okay. So what do I get from this fragrance? Well, I sprayed it and I've used it. <laughs> it's been about a month and a half since I had it. And I think I, I'm not sure probably about that much used about, I really can't say for sure, but I've used quite a lot of it. This is a very nice fragrance. Okay, I get the lemon and I get the citrus notes coming up from the top. I don't drink any alcohol, so I really do not know the smell of gin. But when I, whenever I smell something alcoholic, I, I'm totally repulsed by it. I mean, if you drink, that's fine. That's up to you. I do get the juniper berries. Uh, I'm very sure that's the sweetness coming out from this fragrance in the opening over there. And as it settles down, I get the lavender, the floral note. As it settles down, give it some time to dry down for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then you're hit with that musk and that cedar. It's almost like a semi-leather feel and the slight spices coming out. I don't know if that's because of the birch or the atomisia, but there's a spicy vibe that's coming out. So my take on this fragrance is, it's a clean fragrance. It is definitely summer. It is a fresh fragrance. I know it sounds generic terms, but what else are you gonna say about a summer fragrance? You know, you can't have a hemi heavy and a powerful summer fragrance, especially during the daytime. So definitely clean definitely fresh it's got a sharp opening i like that very much there's some sweetness going on over here i would say it's very casual versatile fragrance summer spring day evening wear anytime you want to wear it again nobody can tell you how to put on the fragrance or when to put it on that's your business and your business only so if you want to rock this during winter go ahead but fragrantica again they classify the summer and I kind of concur with them because it's very light, it's very fresh, but it's got a beautiful sharp sweet opening. And I get, like I said, it's got that spicy vibe. I'm not sure where it's coming out from, maybe the, um, the fennel or the birch or the artemisia, but the berries jump out, the lavender jumps out, the lemon jumps out to me, the citrus, then it just tones down, dries down to that beautiful semi-leather feel over there. Okay, now, a couple of things. This is not a, a unique fragrance, okay? It's clean, it's fresh, 
There's nothing unique about the opening, probably because of the gin note. I can't pick it up, and I think many people like that. But I can tell you right now, and to be honest, now I'm going to be very blunt over here. And if other reviewers are watching this, I acknowledge what they said. I respect their time, their passion, and dedication. But I really get fed up. I mean, I'm being blunt here. I get fed up of many reviewers saying, this is generic, that's generic, this is generic, that's generic. I mean, it sounds like a broken record. I mean, stop. You know, I'm being blunt with you. Just stop with that nonsense over there. Everything is generic? Seriously, you bring 20 fragrance in front of somebody and they'll say generic, 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 generic. But you bring a couple of niche fragrances and everybody says, wow, you know what, that's a $300 fragrance. That's a $500 fragrance. It's beautiful. It's quality ingredients. Hogwash. I got a couple of samples of niche fragrances. I can tell you right now there's nothing exciting about them. To me, it smells generic. It's plain. My Vince Camuto home smells better than those fragrances. So enough with the double standards over here, you know, I, I'm wondering what's going on. Why is it that everybody just comes in generic, it's generic. Man, it's just ridiculous. This is a beautiful, fresh fragrance. It's casual, it's versatile. It's not unique, but it's definitely very nice. It's a safe fragrance. It's not generic, absolutely, nor is it unique. It's not something that's elegant or exquisite that comes out from Guerlain or Hermes or some of the big designer brands. I mean, these guys are brand new in 2011. Give them some time over here, you know? So what I'm saying is just enough of that. So let's get back to the review. Summer, spring, absolutely. Age group for this, guess what? Any age. You could give it to, uh, to your son if he's 15 or 16. Or you can give it to 20 year old. Anybody above 20 plus, definitely 20 plus and above. You could be 50 and still be rocking this. People will definitely compliment you. I don't know the projection or the sillage with this one over here, but I can tell you right now, the longevity on this surprised me. And now you tell me if that is generic. You know how much I got in this longevity? Eight and a half hours. There you go, mic drop. Eight and a half hours. <laughs> I don't even get five hours from some of the niche fragrance samples that I have, which is a dis which to me is ridiculous because that's they portray it as being you know amazing high quality stuff. I get five hours. I got eight and a half hours. Some people fragrantica said they got ten hours out of this. Even after they washed it, it became a skin set after ten hours. Mr. Vince Camuto, you've done a great job. I don't know much about you, man, but I like this fragrance. Yes. Not unique, not so exciting. I like the bottle design, it's amazing. But the, the vibe I get from this, beautiful, clean, fresh, little sweet, little flowery going on over there, floral, but this is a very nice and safe, casual, versatile fragrance. I like this a lot. I wish I could get some more Vince Camuto. This is not available in any store that I've been to. Sephora does not carry this brand. Fragrance stores that I've been to and department stores that have fragrance counters, I've never heard of this brand. There was only one online, picked it up, test a version, doesn't matter. But eight and a half hours, guys, that's amazing. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really surprised with something like this. You know, remove Vince Camuto and put a big name brand over there, change that to Christian Dior or uh, let's say Chanel or the bigger name niche brands over there. You could be selling this for $300 a bottle. And I'm, not, I'm sh very sure it's much, much, much less than that. I don't know. I didn't check on the dollar prices, but the, the rate I paid in Indian rupees was very cheap for this. I'm assuming something about like $25, $30, maybe even $40 max. Can be more than that. Look into the house of Vince Kamut on Fragrantica. They got a whole bunch of other fragrances, Terra, Black, and they got some intense ones. So, and they got many of them for women if you want to get some from your wife or your fiancé or that special lady in your life. <laughs> All right, so would I recommend this? Absolutely not as a blind buy, but I would definitely 100% recommendation by Ben Daniel over here. Look into this house, and if you get a sample or a whiff of this, and if you can find a great deal going online for Vince Camuto, pick it up. You don't want to lose out on this. I like to do it. I like to go for houses that are obscure, that nobody wants to touch and talk about, and everybody says, oh, he's so generic, you know. Man, even to hear that go on and on and on, it's like ranting. Everything is generic. Ridiculous, man. Absolutely. No way. It's beautiful. I like this. It's a safe, 
bet you cannot go wrong in this. It's not going to offend anybody. They probably probably even come to you, and this is some comments I read on Fragmentica. People were getting crazy mad compliments with this that they could not get from other fragrances. So again, I like the design. I like this fragrance. I don't know the, the smell of gin, but a lot of people probably want to buy it because they got gin and berries in this. So beautiful, sweet, sharp, clean, fresh, summer, spring fragrance. Eight and a half, eight and a half hours for me. I don't know how long it's going to be for you. Definitely recommend that you look into Vince Camuto. Not as a blind buy, but if you get a great deal, guys, pick it up. So that's my quick take on the house of Vince Camuto home. I, was, I really hope that I get more from this, maybe in my next haul. After a couple months, not right now. <laughs> okay, everybody, you take care. Have a great day. Have a very productive day ahead of you, not just a busy day. And uh, I got more reviews coming up this week. I'm looking to do some gaming reviews. And I'll see you when I see you. Thanks a lot. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and like. And again, look into this. If you get it, pick it up. Because I said so. All right, later. Bye-bye.